You might have believed that living on the moon or Mars would look something like this. But what if I told you it would most probably look like this? See that thing in between? Sounds familiar, right? Well, it's something that might be growing in your garden right now. Mushrooms, yes. Those humble fungi could be the key to building our future in space. Intrigued? Let's dive into how these incredible organisms might just be our ticket to living on other planets. To keep this simple, let's answer the most basic question. What is the basic need of life? Well, wherever we go, we need three essential things to survive. Shelter, food, and a sustainable environment. On Earth, we have these resources in abundance, but on the Moon or Mars, it's a whole different story. So, how do we plan to meet these needs in such harsh and unforgiving environments? This is where our unlikely heroes, fungi, come into play. First, let's talk about why we can't just use traditional building materials, like stones or metals. The moon does have materials like regolith, which is a loose, rocky material covering its surface. Even though regolith is available on the moon, we still need to bring specialized construction machinery in, possibly additional material, to bind and shape the regolith into usable forms. Sending just one kilogram of such equipment or additional materials to the moon can cost about $2.7 million. To put that into perspective, this is comparable to the entire budget of the mission itself. The moon's environment is harsh. Temperatures can swing from minus 107 degrees six at night to plus 127 uh, during the day. It's insane, right? These conditions can affect the durability and stability of materials made from regolith. So why fungi? These incredible organisms have some unique properties that make them perfect for space. First, fungi are incredibly versatile. They can grow on a variety of substrates, including organic waste, meaning they don't need traditional resources to thrive. They grow quickly and efficiently, which is a huge advantage when working with limited resources. Plus, they're biodegradable. Once their job is done, they break down naturally without leaving harmful residues. Now, let's dive into how fungi can help us build homes. Ever heard of mycelium? It's the vegetative part of fungi, forming a dense network of tiny threads. This mycelium can be grown into various shapes and used as a building material. Imagine using it to create habitat walls or even furniture. Mycelium-based materials are lightweight, strong, and provide excellent insulation. In space, we could cultivate mycelium using local resources or recycled waste, reducing the need for heavy and expensive material transport from Earth. But fungi aren't just for building. They can also be a vital source of nutrition. Fungi are packed with essential nutrients, including proteins, vitamins, and minerals. They offer a sustainable food source that requires minimal resources compared to traditional crops. Growing fungi in space involves using growth chambers or bioreactors to create optimal conditions. And here's the cool part. Fungus can even feed on organic waste, turning potential trash into nutritious food. Fungi are also essential for creating sustainable environments. They play a significant role in soil formation and improvement, breaking down organic matter and minerals to create nutrient-rich soil. This could be crucial for establishing plant life on other planets. Additionally, fungi contribute to atmospheric regulation, helping to reduce carbon dioxide levels and potentially produce oxygen. And let's not forget their bioremediation capabilities. Fungi can break down pollutants and toxins, making the environment safer and more habitable. So how do we actually grow fungi in space? The key is controlled environment chambers that provide the right temperature, humidity, and light. We also use bioreactors, which are closed systems designed for fungal cultivation. In space, microgravity presents unique challenges, but experiments on the International Space Station are helping us understand how fungi grow in these conditions. This research is vital for optimizing fungal cultivation in future space missions. Current research shows the amazing potential of fungi in space, on the ISS, scientists are studying how fungi grow without gravity. 
NASA's Veggie Experiment is exploring how plants and fungi can grow together, helping us understand space farming. Astrobiologists are also looking at how extremophiles, organisms that live in harsh conditions, survive in space. In the future, space greenhouses could be built to grow fungi and other plants together. In conclusion, fungi could be game changers for our future in space. They can help us build homes, grow food, and create a good environment on other planets. And that's why scientists are excited about sending fungi into space. If you're fascinated by how fungi could change our future in space, you're going to love our next video.